Lots of people think of worked examples as a teacher working through a problem and explaining the steps they have taken to solve it. And this is a really successful way of modelling and explaining thinking. But the worked examples I use are slightly different. They focus on presenting problems and solutions together. And this is more in line with the work of Sweller, where worked examples come after teachers' initial modelling. Teachers can then take time with their pupils through quality talk and really good questions to unpick what is the same and what is different about the problems and solutions that have been presented. And then they can learn from these comparisons. We don't want pupils to focus in on carry out, carrying out a specific procedure or trying to get a specific answer. Instead, what we're trying to support them to do is really focus in on the reasoning and the strategies that the mathematician has used to find the answer. We use this style of worked example to actually show our children that there's many different ways to solve a problem. And then we're able to explore those choices and think about why. I think that this approach has a significant impact on the way that pupils think and talk about maths. For me, the quality of reasoning has really improved because they are now exposed to different ways of problem solving and they have had a chance to unpick the choices that mathematicians have made to get to those solutions. We also know from the guidance document that actually these discussions are vital for developing children's metacognition and this is their thinking about how they learn successfully. So using worked examples for me is one way that I can help pupils to become more aware of themselves as maths learners. For me, children need to see and hear the expert in the classroom, and that's the teacher, reasoning. But for me, there is nothing better than hearing their peers engage in the process. And for this reason, I think it's really important that we explore worked examples often because it's a great opportunity to apply the mathematical vocabulary that you've been teaching and really link it in to the problem solving. So in terms of planning to use worked examples, I would say that there are five steps. Step one would be to identify problems that can be solved in different ways. Step two is then to look at those problems and really map out the different solutions to those problems. Three, as the teacher, really begin to think about the vocabulary the children will need to be able to explore the solutions. And then think about the questions that you will ask them to challenge and hone their thinking. And here are some examples of some questions that you could ask when you're looking at the problems. You could ask, what are the first steps that have been used in this example? Why was that step important? What do you think is the most important part and why? And what would you do differently if you were having a go at this problem? And finally, I think this is a really important question. We need to then get the children to look at how can these solutions help you when you begin to problem solve? Step four for me is to try it out. Start small with a guided group first and then look at how you can extend it to a whole class. And finally, evaluate the session and most of all, enjoy the talk that you are developing with your pupils.